It's not the message. It's the messenger. They don't want it to be you. Oh, that's powerful. I'm going to say it again. It's not the message that you brothers and sisters are giving. It's who it's coming from. They don't want it to be you. Hit that like button right now if you know that the enemy don't want it to be you. If you know that fake friends and fake family members don't want that message coming from you. If they don't want that anointing coming from you, baby. Here's what you got to understand. They are jealous of you. They envy you. Amen. They envy your wisdom. They envy your knowledge. They envy your understanding. And they envy that relationship that you have with God. And here's what you got to understand. The Pharisees and Sadducees, right? They were jealous of Christ. Amen. Christ was given the right message, but it was the messenger. They didn't want it to be Christ. And when you begin to understand it, these people don't want it to be you no matter what. Amen. You can get an understanding to know that they are nothing but evil enemies. Okay. Assigned enemies, hidden enemies in the dark that's jealous of you. OK, you have to stop trying to prove yourself to these people. No matter what you do, they don't want it to be you. Oh, my God, that's powerful. Hit that like button right now and put down in the comment section below. I know that you don't want it to be me, but it don't matter. Somebody put that down right now. It don't matter what they want because God chose you. You are chosen by God. And the reason I want to bring this video to you today is because this, brothers and sisters, God is going to put them all to shame. They can't even show their face because they were wrong about you. There are people right now that bet against you. Amen. There are people right now that claim that you were going to lose. And now they can't even show their face. Somebody put down in the comment section below, my enemies can't show their face. They can't show their face. Why? Because God has put them all to shame. Guaranteed, brothers and sisters. You wonder why they all disappeared. It's because they all bet against you. It's because they didn't like the messenger. Here's the kicker. Here's proof of this. You can give the same message that that stranger give, but your own family is going to support that message of that stranger. Amen. And you gave the same exact thing. See, some people don't like the delivery, but just because you don't like the delivery, amen, it don't mean that that message ain't the truth. Oh, that's powerful. Just because you don't like the delivery that how Crystal Life Coach delivers the message, amen, it don't mean that it's not the word of God. Hit that like button right now if you got people right now looking down on you because they don't like the way that you deliver it, baby. They don't like the way that you deliver that message, but it's still the truth. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I am the truth. I'm speaking to the real children of God right now because there's some people that's been denied. There's some people that's been rejected. There's some people who's been talked about, persecuted. They walked out on your life. Hit that like button right now if they walked out on your life, but you refuse to change your message. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I'm not changing my message. Here's what the enemy wanted, wants you to do. The enemy wants you to switch up. Oh my God, the enemy wants you to switch up your message. You want to know why they want you to switch up? They want you to switch up because they want you to mess up. Yeah. See, here's what you got to understand, brothers and sisters, right? When you look at my life and you look at the elevation and the progress, right? And the success that comes with me being real, right? There's some people that's looking at my life and they want me to change up the way I do things. They want me to change who I am. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I won't change for my enemies. They want me to switch it up. Somebody put down, make it make sense. It don't even make sense for me to switch it up. See, here's what losers do. Losers want winners to switch it up because losers want you to lose. Oh, that's a breakthrough. Losers want you to do something different because losers don't want you to get that successful result. Why would I switch up what I'm doing for a loser? Why would I change what I'm doing for you? Amen. God ordained me to win. God ordained me to do the things the way that he wanted me to do it. See, here's what you got to understand. The enemy wants you to switch up the message and wants you to switch up the way you're doing things because they want you to alter your results. They want you to get negative results. Yeah. The enemy wants you to fall on your face. The enemy wants to humiliate you and embarrass you. They want you to come up short. Hit that like button right now. And somebody put down in the comment section below. I'm not coming up short. Somebody put that down right now. See, they want you to come up short because they want you to be delayed for so many years. Oh, my God, this is powerful. For so many years, brothers and sisters, you've been coming up short. And finally, finally, you start winning. Finally, you start walking into your season. And now the enemy is big mad. So they're trying to find a way to play mind games with you. 
You got to stand strong. You got to stand firm on what God told you. Amen. Here's what you got to understand. They're jealous of you because you literally get messages from the angels of the Lord. The angels of the Lord communicate with you. The angels of the Lord send you messages. God himself sends you dreams and visions. God communicates with you and they're all disconnected and they are jealous of your connection. You are special brothers. So listen to your brother right now. You are special. It's not your message. It's the messenger. It's you. It's who you are. It's what you carry. It's that light that you carry. You disturb your demons. You got to understand there is more wicked people out here than it's going to be righteous. Oh, that's a breakdown. There are more people walking in darkness than there are people that's walking with the light. You are one of the ones that carry that light. Let me talk to you, brothers and sisters. You are special. You carry a light that your family can never carry. You carry purpose. Amen. You carry favor over you. Your favor follows you. That's why they hate you. Amen. No matter where you go, when you look at Joseph's life, they threw him in a the pit. They put him in prison and his favor followed him. It's the same thing for you. Why do you think you've been blessed? Even in the dark times, even in those, even in the sunken place, you were blessed. Even in situations and circumstances where you never thought you would make it out, God still blessed you. Hit that like button right now. If God blessed you in the darkest times of your life, out of nowhere, that light shine. Hit that like button right now. If you took losses and even though you were taking losses after losses, even though you might have came up short, God kept coming through. Somebody put down in the comment section below, God came through for me. Hit that like button right now. If God came through for you that's powerful god keep coming through for you and god keep coming up when you came up short god came through when the people didn't want to throw you a life vest when you were struggling and you were stranded god came through and helped you survive hit that like button right now i'm here for the survivors right now i'm here for the people who really got god in their life who know that god put the message in you and the devil and the witches and warlocks is working night and day to try to stop that message to try to alter your message to try to change your message to try to change your life but out of nowhere god put the real messenger there you are the messenger for god through you lives are going to change through you people's situations is going to change your anointing is going to change lives god is going to put you in front of people amen that you're going to make a difference over, over their life i want you to know right now you have purpose don't let that devil out there tell you or make you feel less than because they are less than. Amen. Don't let that serpent, right? Who's at the bottom of your feet? Who's your footstool? Somebody put down in the comment section below, my enemies are my footstool. Don't let those people who are your footstool make you feel less than. Amen. The reason they want to tear you down, right? Is because people want to see you doing good, but just not better than them. They can't stand the fact that you're doing better than them. I'm going to tell the truth. I don't care how the enemy feel about it. I'm going to keep it absolutely real. On this channel here, we keep it real. They hate the fact that you're doing better than them. But they don't care about the sacrifice. They don't care about the struggles that you had to go through. They don't care about you almost going through bankruptcy. They don't care about you almost being homeless. They don't care about you being homeless. They don't care about you losing your job. They don't care about you having to go, amen, suffering year after year, coming up short, loss on top of loss. And finally, when God give you a winning season, then the devil want to turn his head around and tell you how to do things. Somebody put down in the comment section below, get out my face, devil. Somebody tell the devil right now in the name of Jesus to get out your face. You got to rebuke these enemies. I don't care the relationship. I don't care how long you knew them. You got to tell the devil to flee. Somebody put down in the comment section below, flee devil, get out my way. Somebody tell that right now. I made it here because I was bold and I stood firm and I believed in myself when nobody believed in me. You got to believe in yourself and you got to bet on yourself. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I will bet on myself when you bet on yourself, when nobody else bet on you, amen? You going to win, baby. Why? Because it's you and God versus everybody else. Somebody put down in the comment section below, it's me and God versus everybody else. That's why they can't stand Christian Life Coach, amen? Why? Because it was me and God versus everybody else and God gathered the team here. Amen. Of the chosen family around the world, the strong brothers and sisters, the strong soldiers who's on this channel. It's us versus them, baby.
Amen. It's the real versus the fake. Somebody put down in the comment section below. It's the real versus the fake. But the real will always win. When you real, baby, and you stand real, those fakes can't stand you, baby. A lot of you got fakes in your family, baby. That's pretending like they like you. Amen. But in the background, they want to see you fall, baby. They want to see you come up short. They can't stand that you keep making it on your own, baby, with God's strength. They can't stand the fact that they were wrong about you, baby. It's not the message. It's the messenger. They don't want it to be you. They don't want it to be you. No matter what. Amen. In the, in, in the moment that you realize and understand that that's the truth, that is when breakthroughs will happen for you because you can see it for what it is. Somebody put down in the, that's a breakthrough in itself. If you can see it for what it is, hit that like button right now. If you know they hate you because you can see for what they is. You can see what they are and who they are. You see it for what it is. You see the situation for what it is, baby. You got spiritual eyes. While they're spiritually blind, baby, you know who they are. So don't allow people who's not of God to make you feel less than. Don't allow people, right, who hate the messenger, right, destroy the message. Keep delivering that message. Oh, my God, I'm going to say it again. You better keep on delivering that message. You better keep on giving that message on how God put it in you, baby, because that message is going to change life. That message is the testimony. That message is life because God's word is life. Man can't live off bread alone, but out of every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's what Christ said in Matthew 4 when he rebuked the devil. So you got to keep that word. Don't let these people change your life and change the message. It is not the message. It's the messenger. And the enemy will go so far as trying to pervert that message the same way the Pharisees did, right? Just to catch you up, just to get you out of righteousness. Don't let these people fool you. It's Chris, the life coach. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll be coming up with another message for you, brothers and sisters, later on to all the people around the world that's assigned to me. I thank you for all your love and support. I thank you for taking your time out of your day, out of your life. Amen. By showing love, by showing uh, support, just by simply hitting the like button. I appreciate you, brothers and sisters. Amen. It's because of you. I am in my situation. I'm blessed. Amen. And yes, I give credit to where credit it is due because why because it's all about support and loving one uh one another and showing gratitude i'm somebody who has gratitude for my brothers and sisters i'm grateful for life i'm grateful for the people that god assigned to me so to each and every one of you out there amen even if i never seen you if i never said you, you know what's so amazing man i was out and about man and you know it's so amazing just what happened to me recently and if the brother is watching i was out and about Right. And out of nowhere, um, <laughs> I walk by this gentleman and um, he says, man, he says, you look different with your glasses. on." I said, well, I said, what do you mean? He said, man, yeah, man, you be doing a YouTube and everything like that. You look different with your glasses off. And right then and there, I seen that God's word is getting out to the uh, brothers and sisters. And, you know, that really touched my heart and touched my soul. So, brother, if you're out there, I thank you. You know what I'm saying? For um, your encouragement. And we shook hands and he said, God bless you. And I'm, I was in a whole nother state in a whole nother place. And I saw this brother and the word of God got out there and he recognized me. Amen. So I just want you to know that that situation right there really touched my soul. And I appreciate you, my brother. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't know where you're at and if you're watching this video today, but um, I thank you for that because that let me know, you know what I'm saying? That God's word is getting out and that showed me that God's children is listening and um, it's a, a true connection of fellowship and love. And I appreciate everybody that, um, you know, that I don't even get to see that all the faces I've seen from my day ones, man, has been here. You, you brothers and sisters know, I know your names and all those stuff like that. And I show you so much love, as much love as I can give. And I just want to thank you for all the things that you help build here because it's because of you. Amen. And it's because of God and stuff like that. And I thank you. Amen. And with that said, all praises to the most high. It's not the message. It's the messenger. Amen. It's who you are. All right. All praises to the most high. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Peace.